It could be the biggest update in the solar system. Take a look at this. This is 3i Atlas. It does not have a very big, very noticeable cometary tail. That's what we were thinking we were going to see. What if physics itself is negotiable? An object the size of a small mountain just carved a path through our solar system. Of its total mass during perihelion. Not one-sixth of surface ice, one-sixth of everything. That's 5.5 billion tons erupting across 30 days. Picture a cruise liner accelerating by throwing one-sixth of the hull, passengers, and cargo overboard. You'd see the debris field from orbit, yet observatories worldwide saw a compact point of light. Clean. No shroud, no halo, no luminous cloud, nothing. Uh. However, uh, those images that were just released today, they don't show a cometary tail. They just so show a, a blob of light. The Virtual Telescope Project's November 5th release captured this absence perfectly. Their improvised placed 3i Atlas beside Comet Lemon in a single frame, an unintentional experiment showing exactly what should happen versus what actually did. Lemon displays the textbook response. Brilliant tail carved by radiation pressure as solar heat transforms ice into visible outflow. 3i Atlas appears as a sharp pinpoint, unchanged from Hubble's July observations, despite five months of solar approach, including the scorching perihelion pass. If 3i Atlas vaporized billions of tons near peak solar heating, the coma would blaze across amateur equipment. Its absence forces a question most astronomers find deeply uncomfortable. What is generating the thrust? So there was some non-gravitational acceleration that it exhibited. If it's a natural comet, that is a consequence of it getting evaporated. And what you're about to discover in the next 30 seconds is why this case rewrites the investigation. October 29th marked perihelion. JPL's tracking data flagged a deviation. 3i Atlas sits four arc seconds from where pure gravity places it translating to 80,000 kilometers of drift in one month. The acceleration measures 0.02 millimeters per second squared, pushing radially outward at 135 kilometers per day squared, while shoving laterally at 60 kilometers per day squared. Think of a baseball curving mid-flight 
as if invisible hands nudged it. That's non-gravitational acceleration. For comets, it's common. If you can photograph the gas doing the pushing, multiple independent observatories confirm 3i Atlas looks identical across five months of solar approach. From distant cold reaches through scorching perihelion, no visual change, no brightening halo. Loeb's calculations indicate at least 13% total mass loss to account for observed acceleration. Material on that scale doesn't vanish quietly. The absence isn't a mystery. It's a contradiction. Basic physics. If acceleration exists, propellant must eject. When you measure acceleration but detect zero propellant, one of three things breaks. Your instruments, your calculations, or your assumptions about what's creating the force. Instruments have been cross-verified. The math uses century-old rocket equations that powered Apollo to the moon, which leaves assumptions about natural versus artificial mechanisms. Before December 19th arrives, you need to understand what's stacking on top of the propulsion paradox. Stop. This contradicts every formation model. As 3i Atlas closed on the sun, Brightness climbed following a power law exponent of negative 7.5. Standard comets brighten at negative 2 to negative 3. 3i Atlas intensified at more than double the expected rate, as if someone turned a dimmer switch that doesn't exist in nature. You can't amplify reflected sunlight without adding surface area or changing composition. The behavior sits outside parameters validated by thousands of cometary observations. Then there's color. 3i Atlas glows bluer than our sun during approach. The sun radiates at 5,800 Kelvin, producing yellow-white light. Colder objects emit redder wavelengths. That's blackbody radiation, freshman physics. 3i Atlas, with a surface 20 times cooler than the solar photosphere, should appear deep red. Instead, it's bluer like an ice cube radiating the heat signature of a furnace. Spectral signatures don't support natural explanations. The data remains orphaned. We're compounding impossibilities. Acceleration without visible fuel, brightening beyond natural limits, glowing the wrong color. And that's before examining trajectory. 3i Atlas entered the inner solar system inclined just five degrees from the ecliptic plane, the flat disk containing planetary orbits. Probability for a random interstellar object, 0.2% or 1 in 500. Like throwing a dart blind across a stadium and hitting a painted line on the floor. Not impossible, suspicious when combined with every other anomaly. Random chance erodes quickly when dice keep landing on edge. Between July and August 2025, spectroscopic analysis captured something unprecedented. A jet of material aimed toward the sun. Every known comet defies this. Radiation pressure, photons physically pushing gas outward, forces tails to stream away from stars, always. It's why comet tails point backward, regardless of travel direction, like a flag snapping in wind. The 3 i Atlas's jet fired against that pressure, requiring active thrust overpowering natural forces. Think of running forward while your hair blows ahead of you into the wind. Can't happen with passive forces you need propulsion. Composition adds another layer. Spectroscopy revealed nickel concentrations significantly exceeding iron, ratios resembling manufactured alloys more than chaotic cosmic mixtures. Natural bodies form through random elemental accretion, a statistical blend of whatever existed in the formation cloud. Finding precise ratios, as if ingredients were measured, sits beyond expected variance. And here's the detail most coverage ignores, the thing separating those who noticed from those who didn't. Standard comets contain 80 to 90% water ice, dirty snowballs in astronomer shorthand. The 3i Atlas measured 4% water content, 4%, drier than Earth's driest deserts, like discovering an Arctic iceberg composed of 96% granite. Water ice is the volatile creating outgassing when heated. Without it, the natural acceleration mechanism becomes a phantom, in 1977, Ohio State's Big Ear Telescope detected a 72-second radio burst from Sagittarius, the famous WOW signal, the most compelling potential evidence of extraterrestrial transmission ever recorded. The 3i Atlas arrived from identical celestial coordinates 48 years later. Directional precision, linking two events across half a century, 
yields odds around 1 in 20,000, comparable to consecutive lottery wins. Coincidence remains possible, but probability compounds poorly across independent anomalies. This is where methodology becomes contentious. Some researchers dismiss observations that contradict existing models, claiming flawed instrumentation. Loeb has argued publicly that approach reverses scientific method. You don't reject measurements because they shatter theories. You explore new hypotheses, even uncomfortable ones. The hypothesis causing friction, technological origin, that 3i Atlas might constitute an artifact employing propulsion physics we haven't mastered. Extraordinary. But extraordinary explanations become necessary when ordinary ones fail a dozen independent tests. Right now, between late November and January, an armada of instruments is tracking 3i Atlas, ground arrays worldwide, Hubble's optical resolution, James Webb's infrared sensitivity, December 19th offers optimal geometry, 167 million miles from Earth, maximum observation window before it recedes. If natural outgassing is occurring, those instruments will capture the 5.5 billion ton gas cloud glowing across multiple wavelengths. Hubble's optics resolve fine detail. Webb's sensors detect infrared signatures from molecules humans can't see. By late January, data goes public. But if the images return clean, if 3i Atlas remains as pristine in December as November, the natural explanation collapses. No gas means no outgassing thrust, which means acceleration originates from something internal. Propulsion, engineering, technology, a visitor demonstrating capabilities beyond our physics, observable and measurable, coasting through our cosmic neighborhood right now. You're watching the countdown to either the strangest natural object ever recorded or confirmation we're not alone. The timeline isn't about danger. 3i Atlas poses no threat to Earth. The timeline is about verification, about whether our models require radical revision or whether broken rules demand we confront broken assumptions about intelligence beyond our world. When those December images release, the universe will look different. Either our understanding of comets was catastrophically incomplete or we'll have photographed the first confirmed technology from beyond our solar system. Predictions shattered, and shattered predictions demand answers we might not be ready to hear.